a guy delivering ecstasy pills. Yeah, he's backed in right there on the end, George. All right, 10 more, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hands, hands, hands. Inside, inside, inside. He's coming back up. Going in, jump in, man. He's going right through you. Going in, jump in. He's going south side on 441. Try to take the target down. And what happened was one of our detectives didn't get a good uh, pin on the car to, to block him in. And he took off. He may spun out. He spun out. Hold on. Oh. There he is. Oh. There he is, right there. Right here, right here, right here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's right up here. He's been. Where'd he go? Right there. Oh, wow. Put your hands behind your back! You went off. Hey, buddy, did you get hit? Check the car, check the car. Cuff him up. With the guy that bailed out too? Yes. We got him. Tell him we got him. We got the driver. The driver's in custody. Alright. Seventh and stay with seven. Where's the pills at, dude? Huh? Where are the pills? There ain't no pills. Where are your pills at? I ain't got none. Do you have a clothing on them? Stand up. Long jean shorts. Short haircut. It's not in your boy. Where are the pills at? I ain't got them. I ain't never get them. Why didn't you get them? Because the person ain't never come. What person that never came? They were coming over there. They were coming over there to give them to you? Yeah. Who was coming over there to give you Some the stuff? Some dude was going to come over there. What dude? What's his name? Uh, um, Lil G. Okay, what do they call you? John. They don't call you Chico? No. Nah. Who's Chico? That's the dude was going to come bring him. That's the guy, some guy was going to, Chico was going to bring you pills? Where do you live? Then what are you why? taking off running for then? What's wrong with me? What took, what, why are you taking off running then? I don't know, bitch, I was poop. I just seen the car pull up like that. And so, and so then you go and you run, you crash into cars over here. You see the car you crashed into over here? So if you're running for nothing, if you got nothing, what are you running for? For what reason? I don't know. You got warrants or anything out for your arrest? Is there dope in the car? No. There's no pills in that car? No. Then what are you running for? If you got nothing, what are you running for? For what? Huh? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know why you ran? You don't know why you ran and smashed into the car over here? Did the guy who was in the car with you that took off running, did he have any pills on him? No, uh, yeah, I think he got them on him. How many, how many pills did he have on him? On oh, fifth one. Like five. Five? Yeah. He had five pills on him? Yeah. Or 500? Five. Five pills? Yeah. What were they in? in the what were the pills in? In a bag. Huh? In a bag. In a bag? Yeah. And he was going to sell them to you? No, nah, dude was going to come bring them. Chico, who he waited for, was going to come bring them to He was going to fit to come bring them to you? To him. To him? So how are you involved in this whole thing then? Because he's my people that I know him from around the neighborhood. And he was like, take him around there, so I was taking him. Who, who do you know? You know this guy or you, or you know Chico? The guy who ran. What's the guy's name? What's his name? I, don't, I just know him as Remy. Remy? Yeah. He was running northbound between the houses. You go, you go with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sit, 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 sit. Let's go. Have a seat. I said, oh, I can talk to the car right now? Huh? Can I talk to the buddy? No, in a minute. We got a guy. We got a guy who last seen him running from uh, 38th and uh, Fifth Court. Slim Bill. He was running between the houses. He saw me and he started up on his horse again. He's up here somewhere. He's in here somewhere. Yeah, he's going on the roof of the house. He just lost sight of him. He just said he just failed. He just failed for me. He's on the roof somewhere. One of those houses. So you know what we can do? Let's see if we can get on the roof of this house here, upstairs, and look upstairs. This side, this side, right here. This side. Stand by. Come out. Come out. Give me your cuffs. Give me your cuffs. Give me your cuffs. Get down on the ground. Do it now. Do it out here on your belly. Scoot out here on your belly. Scoot out here on your belly. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Go cuff. Stay right where you are. Stay down. Lay down. Look at the ground. Go. Look at the ground. Look at the ground. Go ahead. You ready? Go. Go around, go. Watch your resist, sir. Watch your resist. 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 Watch your 
know. I swear, I was getting a ride from a friend. Then what are you running for then? Yeah, if you got a ride from a friend, what are you running for? Because I, I saw the man flew. I was like, hold on, what are you doing? What you stop? So then what stop. are you taking off running for then? Because well, I don't know what the hell the heck's going on, sir. If um, somebody's um, bum rushing you, I don't know what the heck's going on getting a ride. Oh, come on, come on. That's why you need resistance. Huh? Put him in a car. What I want you to do is show us the roof you were just on, at the helicopter saw you on, at the other police saw you on. What roof are you on? That one. This one right here? Yeah. Show me how you got up and show me where you jumped down. Show me. Right here. I climbed up here. I put my feet here. And I got up there. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yes. If you didn't do anything to begin with, what are you running for? What you mean? Look, what I he, said. he crashed into a car. Which, let's come. All right. Okay. Why did you guys pull up out of the Lauderdale Mall? and you backed in, and you saw the police cars pull in there, why did you leave there? Why'd you guys leave there? What did he what say to you? He didn't say nothing to me, that's what I'm telling you. He okay, so why'd you, why? I jumped out the car. And what'd you say when he took off? What'd you say? I ain't say nothing to him. I don't know what y'all looking for. That's the what fence. I'm trying to tell y'all. Did you I check the vents the best I could? Do everything, go look, whatever you want. Smell my hand, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't own no nothing. I'll get in a ride. Yeah, let's go, we'll go back to the car, and we'll deal with it from there, come on. Y'all trying to look for what? Yeah. Come on. All right, they both go to jail tonight. Driver hits the car. He goes to jail for fleeing, assault, you know, smashing up two cars. The passengers are on probation, so he goes to jail. And plus, they get charged with attempted deliver. Guys don't run for nothing. If anybody ever thought about coming to law enforcement, Pomona is the place to come. It's fun. It's common sense. What's the best option that we can take to complete the task? And that's how we conduct business here. That is a huge draw for an officer to come to an agency that you can still use common sense to get the job done. We're on our way to an incomplete 911 call. Uh, details in the call state that there was a battery that occurred and the suspects in one of the local rooms were about ready to go out on the call and find out what the actual situation is. Adam 51's out. Adam 51's out. Flight to town at Laverne. Town at Laverne, Adam 52. Adam 52, when you go to 97, stay on the south side of the building. I'll make uh, contact with the RP to Laverne. It's a large Caucasian guy, uh, blue jeans, gray sweatshirt, bald head like you, with a nice. large flashlight out here pacing back and forth. He just went went back in. Okay. In the front door here. He tells the rear of the property. Yeah, one with a flashlight, supposedly the suspect. I'm getting hailed by numerous others. Just have 50 people straight in. You're the victim? Yeah. Where's the suspect? The fence over here heading that way. What's he wearing? He's wearing black pants, black tank top. White what? White muscle shirt. The White muscle lines. shirt. White tank top, black pants. What did he do to you? He, they were, they were throwing around and stuff upstairs. So I went upstairs to see what, see what was going on. He comes out of the room and just bum rushes me, and then just f pops me right in the head with his head butts me in the head. With his head, with his head. I was trying do you use any other weapons other than his head no. or his hands? All I was trying to do was restrain him and just keep him calm. He just f head butted me out of the blue. He's all doped Pomona. up or drugged up or something. You think this is you think this is How much you have to drink today? How much you have to drink today? How much you have to drink today? Beer. Yeah. Relax. Stand up. Yeah. And now he's gonna put your hand top your head. Put your hand top your head. Disabled. Then I didn't do a damn thing. Disabled. Turn your head to the left. Disabled person. And he's gonna arrest me. A disabled person. Why are you arresting me? Cause you're drunk in public right now. I ain't drunk in public. I'm pissed off. Cause that guy wants to call the cops on somebody who fought for his. Freedom. You know what, ma'am? So did I. So why don't you show me a little bit of respect? Why don't you show some respect then? You're causing disturbance. My fiance goes overseas to fight for your freedom! Relax. Ain't that funny? That's funny, ain't it? That's how our system works. Get in. He can't be too far. There's really only a couple places he could bed down for a little bit, and it'd be the restaurant or the bar. Relax. 
Douglas, right? Item 5 one code for suspects in custody. Douglas. I ain't hit nobody. What happened? I... You guys are just as... Douglas, Douglas, Douglas. I talked to your lady. I talked to the manager. I talked to everybody. I already know you. I already know it was uh, yeah, you. Yeah, I know okay. you. You, what you know me, man. I don't know what happened. What, what happened? Was... What happened? He kept pushing up against me, like, you know, like, okay. you know, I'm just telling you, you know. Okay. He was up in my face and dude, and I'm like, what are you getting in my face? Okay. Now, I don't even understand the situation. Okay. I left. Okay. Okay? Okay. How'd you get that on your head right here? Um. You got mad, huh? No, I've been hit a couple times, yeah. Okay. You got mad and you headbutted. No, I got punched. He had hit me in the face. Okay. And then he got about face to face where we're at, and I backed him up. I didn't f hit him. Did the uh, did the ROTC send you to Iraq? No. That's what your girlfriend said that, that you went to Iraq. No, I I never I never been to Iraq, dude. Oh, I, I was I, clarifying that for yeah, yeah. I was in boot camp, dude. Uh, I'm on my way. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to do what I could do, but it's not even about. You saying that he hit you, right? He did hit me, dude. I'm not lying at all. Okay, yeah. we're gonna go talk to him real quick. Let's see what he has to say. Come on, let's get the car. Get in, man. You're not gonna believe That's pretty good, though. Uh, he's saying that you hit him? No. What, what happened? Know. They were throwing, I don't know, whatever, body slamming, throwing around in the, in the apartment stuff. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call to check it out. I went upstairs. Probably four feet from the door, he comes barreling out of that door and just comes right at me. So I grabbed his hands and tried to restrain him, and right when I did that, he headbutted me. And then they're saying, I don't remember, it, but they're saying that he, and I got a big knot on the back of my head. Uh huh. And they're saying that he slammed my head in the wall. Was there anybody else there? Yeah, we have a witness of the whole thing. Did you see what happened? I saw it all. Yeah, you saw it happen earlier today? Dude. Yeah. Both you guys did? What happened? He headbutts him and then had him like this against the wall. So he never, he just the whole time was trying to... Kind of just defend himself? Yeah, well, yeah, he didn't swing or nothing, but just, hey, hey, hey. And I was trying to call 911 because I figured they're going to go over the balcony. He was trying to get downstairs. Okay. Because that's where they're going to end up next. Because he was just... Ooh. So it's your opinion he was just, just a victim of the battery? Oh, yeah, he didn't do anything. Okay. Nothing at all. Excellent. And everybody saying that he's the one who uh, started the situation. We're going to take him for a 242 PC. And we got that witness sign that uh, citizen's arrest for him. So we should be good with that. Prior to this, I was a private investigator for about a year and a half and uh, did the military thing for the United States Air Force for, for quite a bit too, still doing the guard thing. But uh, once a year, I have to do my two-week deployment for the military. I worked on planes and private investigation work, and that's what led up to this. We just got a, a tip from a passer buyer saying that there is a, a couple who are verbally arguing. He's pushing her as they walk down the street and they've arrived out here at the bus stop. And there they are right there. <laughs> Control 4 David 4, 4 David 2. Control 4 David 2. Right, 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 right. Get over here now! Come here! Control on me, Code 9. He just struck his wife. Funny backup. In front of my car now! Go to the front of my car. Why are you pushing me? Fuck. Negative, just run me corner. I got one in custody. Get, get your hand. You're under arrest for domestic battery. Get up. You have anything legal on you? Open your feet up. What's up? How much? How you doing? That has come by. He's striking on his wife right here, punching her in the face like three times. Come on up. Open your legs up. 
Anything illegal on you right now? No. How much you been drinking tonight? Nothing. You okay? You need medical attention? No. No medical? I'm asking her right now. She was the one getting hit, not you. Do you have ID on you right now? No. He's good, he's good. He's not being combative. What's up with you guys tonight? What's your story again, man? Are you in? Yeah. Okay, do me a favor, go and take a seat for me. As of now, you're under arrest for domestic battery until I can further otherwise see reason not to arrest you, okay? Kick your feet out in front, cross them at the ankles. Cross your feet at the ankles. You ever been arrested before? Yes. For what, sir? Same thing. Domestic battery? Yeah. With the same person? Yeah. Why do you like beating on her? What's up? No, well, last time was not. I'm not going to sit here and explain to you. Well, tell me what's up. Well, where are you? Okay. I'm, all I'm asking is just tell the story to what happened between you and her. Take me to jail and then we'll talk about it. Okay, you're already going to jail. That's fine. I'll talk to your wife. I'm sure she'll tell me everything. Well, that's... You okay? Okay. Why are you still with this guy after all this time? Is it... my children. No, I understand. I... But I know this isn't the first time this has happened, right? So what? what's the deal? He's got a court date on May 15th. For the same thing. What's the deal with him tonight? What happened between you guys? Everything was going good. And then we get on the bus, and these two punks got on the bus. These two young kids, and they were talking and I looked at my husband, I was looking at my husband when I said this, and I said, you know, thank God my kids, our kids are not like that. Right. Well, one turned around and goes, what? And started, and I said, I wasn't talking to you. And he goes, whatever, bitch. Well, once he said bitch, my husband, like, went, what? What do you? To stop? defend you. To defend right. me. And when they ended up, at like three stops later, they got off the bus, they threw the uh, soda in both of our faces. And the bus driver said, uh, you want me to call the cops? And I said, no, 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 because there was a lot of people on the bus. Right, right. You didn't there. want to make a scene or no. nothing. No, I understand. I was talking to people while we were waiting to move on. And I guess he didn't like me talking to people. I get right, right. From the alcohol finally hit him. Let's just say that. Okay. How much has he had to drink tonight? Um, probably quite a bit. Okay. We got up here and he was walking in front of me the whole entire time. And he started yelling at me and... We got to hear and that. What all was he saying to you verbally as you guys you're were walking from Jerry's? Just, just putting you down. Yeah. Okay. Just putting me down. And you've been with this guy for 20 years? Yeah. You seem like a like a a good person. You guys got kids. I know how you get in a situation. It's hard to get out of it with the husband, but if this is ongoing. He's been arrested how many times now for domestic battery against you? At least three. At, or four. at least three or four. So do what you can to survive without him. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Be as descriptive as you can. Start from is all, everything he said, you can remember up to where he started striking you right here, okay? Okay. What caused you to be mad at her? I don't understand. We just got over here and I got our rated. Uh, Jerry's Nugget yeah. from walking down? Jerry's Nugget. Okay. Were you irate at her or at the kids on the bus or at the whole situation or what? I was irate, period. Okay. Maybe the alcohol did it to you a little bit tonight? I was irate. I was mad. I got humiliated in the bus. But now all of a sudden she came out and lashed out at me. What she said to you when she lashed out at you? She said, see, see what you can do, you can do better. Why don't you try anything harder? That or made why you mad? You think? She, that made you mad? Yeah. Because okay. I don't try any better or any harder. You thought she was disrespecting you? Yes. Is, is this relationship worth all this? No, it's not. I know you don't like going to jail. I know you don't like being bothered by the police. Nobody does. So if this is what causes you to act like this, why not move on and do something else? What's the first thing they tell you to do in every single one of those classes when you guys get mad at each other? To walk away. Very good. That would have solved every problem here tonight. She walk takes away. a bus home, you go and get another they beer go somewhere? The other way. Exactly. Exactly. How many, how many of these classes have you taken? Um, we should be trying to get them over to 31st in Chicago in that parking lot. That's where we're going to take everything down and we'll process them and everything like that. Any questions? Let's roll. We're doing a prostitution detail today. Uh, we've got a guy go out in plain clothes. He's going to pick him up. Uh, we're going to take him down, see if we can get some intel, and see if we can put some of the ladies in jail tonight. You hear that one? You try her first. Copy. Uh, they see a working girl out there right now, several blocks away. Uh, we're going to go set up on her, and our UC is going to come in and see if he can pick her up. 
Okay, uh, we're in position. Whenever you're ready, JK. All right, we spotted a prostitute here. Our UC is rolling up to her. Here she comes. What's up, girl? What's up? Not much. He picked her up and they're on the move. Okay, we're gonna head to the uh, arrest point. You got a good place we can go, it's quiet. Um, Not a house, just somewhere to park. Exactly. Oh, that van sat there until you picked me up. How does not the police? Well, so do I, I don't need any trouble. I'm from out of town. Um, are you the police? No, I'm not the police. I don't think you are, I'm pretty good, just a police detector. Yeah, that is weird. All right, we're set up at the arrest location. Whenever he brings you here, we'll be ready to go. We got a good offer. I'm not pretending to go to a bank. What's your name in case they pull us over? My name is Mandy. Mandy, I'm Jason. Hello. Hey, Jason. They are. Let's ditch them. Can you do that? Go ahead and uh, do the takedown. Green Saturn. There you go. Get on her, Jeff. Where'd all these guys come from? Turn around. Do you have any ID in here? No. What's your name? Amanda. Right, come on over here. Let's see. Amanda? Yep. You mind, Elsie? Go ahead. Uh, is this her mic? I need to talk to you for a minute. I'm Sergeant Pluger. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda, y'all prostituting today? No, I was just actually waiting for a friend to get home on that block, but. You decided to uh, make a little money quick? Okay. You're under arrest for prostitution tonight, gross misdemeanor for making an officer to an gross undercover. Gross misdemeanor? Yeah, because he's an undercover police officer. All right, hang tight. We'll be with you in a minute, okay? All right, nice job. We got a nice quick one. Let's uh, saddle up and we'll uh, hit it again, see if we can get another one for the night. Let's All go. Right. All right. Uh, one of our undercovers spotted a, uh, another working girl on 32nd Street over here. Uh, we're gonna set up surveillance on her and our UC is gonna come in and see if he can pick her up. He's almost in the alley there, Boston. Copy. Still left, north side of the street. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thank you for coming back. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, I wanted to. Thanks, because I need the money. Yeah? Well, my name's Itchy. Okay, my name's Star. Star? <laughs> so what's up? Well, I don't know. I, I'll give you, like, what, $60? Okay. I'll just give you, like, 40 right now, and then I'll, when we're done. How do, you, how do you do it? I don't know. No, just give me the 60. We'll do it without the condom, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds cool. Okay, it sounds like we got a good offer, and he's going to be uh, heading in here to the arrest spot. All right, we got a good offer. Go ahead and move in. That's him right there. Go ahead and take him. Uh, just, can we do it in the car? Right here? Yeah. I'm an exhibitionist. Let's do it. I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, I'll give you extra money. No. Who are these guys? Oh, Hop out. Hop out. Throw your purse on the top of the car there. Put your hands behind your back. Do you have a driver's license or ID in this state? Yes. See you? All right. Come on over here real quick. Over here. Have a seat. What's your name? Dorothy. What's going on tonight? Nothing. I was walking to a friend's house and he's the one that stopped me. Who stopped you? The driver did. What did he say? He, uh, he propositioned me and I didn't. What did he want? What was he looking for tonight? Um, he wanted to have sex or something like that. He did? Yeah. What'd you say? 
I said I needed the money because I don't do drugs anymore. No. You need the money because why? Because I needed the money. I'm homeless right now. Okay. Well, here's the deal tonight. You're under arrest for uh, prostitution. Okay. We're going to get some information from you. Okay. And uh, if you cooperate with us, uh, we might kick you out tonight. Okay. Uh, so answer all the questions. Otherwise, okay. we're going to have to take you down to the jail, okay? Okay, that's fine. All right, just sit tight. Okay. Nice job tonight. Uh, we managed to put girls in the tank for some gross misdemeanor arrests, uh, so they won't be back out for a while. Uh, we'll give it a try another night. Good job, guys. After uh, a little over 16 years, I, I still enjoy the job. I have a great time with it. Three generations of my family have worked here. I've got a, well over a thousand criminal arrests. And that was a lot of hard work. But I, I work a very busy district, a very busy area. We're uh, approaching one of our large truck stops in the Channel B area. Uh, some criminal activity goes on here quite frequently. We try and come through as much as we can to make it safe for all the truckers and families. What's going on? Trying to get around. What are y'all doing over here? This your rig? No, sir. Come on. Might as well run outside. Hi. Are they coming to me or not? Just relax, okay? Just bring your hands back behind your back. Just take it easy for a second, okay? Yeah, no problem. Cool. You don't have a pocket knife or anything on you? Yes, sir. My me? left pocket. Left front? Yes, sir. What's your name, bud? Carl. What are you doing over here, bud? I'm just getting sleep. Been in here all weekend. Where are you living at? Uh, Alabama. Sir? Alabama. Alabama? You're a long way from Alabama, so where are you living at here? Bob, I'm with a, a driver that's right over here in the parking lot. Sir? I'm with another driver over here in the parking lot. You're with another driver? Yeah. Okay. Helping him. So if you're with another driver and you're helping him, what brings you over here? Just walking around, seeing people, sitting around, talking. Come here, man. Why don't you walk straight up? Stay there just like that. Don't move, okay? Stay there just like that. Don't turn around. Don't move. Don't do anything, okay? Hand me your smokes. Don't worry about your phone, okay? Melissa, you know that guy? His name's Carl. Okay, bring your I hands back behind you. When he was working at um, the Three Jeans. Huh? When they had that other CD shop over here. Yeah. He used to work there. Okay. Look. I'm going to ask you for an honest answer. Are you holding the line or not? I don't have nothing on you. Nothing on you, nothing in you, nothing nowhere. No. Okay. I don't have nothing on me. All right. I'm That's gonna tell you, I'll tell you why I'm up here. Why? Because today was my daughter's birthday, and they're having a birthday party in, in uh, Humble for her. Uh-huh. And I was, gonna, I was making some money for her birthday party so I can get How her How are something. you doing that? Just be honest with me. Be all right? honest. I'm not trying to put you I don't, in jail. I, I but I don't. Okay, is that what you were doing with him? No. Nothing at all? No, sir. No sexual activity whatsoever? No, sir. All right, stay right there. Why, is it, why are your pants open? Huh? The what? I said, why are your pants open? Open? I didn't know that was The zipper only goes up about halfway. Okay, your zipper ain't up halfway. Is open up all the way. So why are your pants all the way open? Look, I'll tell you what, just Sorry. stop. Stop right there, okay? After 17 years, I think I got a clue, okay? Don't disrespect me by lying to me, okay? She's been honest. She's told me what she's doing here. She's told me what's going on. Most of the people out here know me. I've been out here for years. All I'm asking you for is just a shred of honesty. What are you doing over here? Like I told you, man, I'm just out walking around, man. Okay. I'm looking for uh, either a crack pipe or a crack rock, something narcotics related, because as soon as he saw us, he uh, turned away from the rig and tried to hide. Huh. All right. You already know. Fair enough. Hmm? You already know. Yes. All right. Hang on right here, Melissa. 
When he turned away from the truck, you could see an object fall from his hands. I just couldn't see it in the dark. Uh, once she kind of pointed in the right direction, I was able to, to narrow down my search and I could find the crack pipe laying right here in plain view. And it's still warm to the touch. Are you ready to talk to me some more about sure. what are you really doing here? What's really going on? Okay. Well, I saw these girls come. To, I come down here to see if I can get, you know, what they offer. What this girl over here offers. Yeah. Okay, and that's why your pants are undone? Yes, sir. Okay. Melissa, I just want to make sure that I have all the facts straight. When we rolled up, his pants were already down. What, were you about to, to have another date with him or what? I've never had a date with him. Never had a date with him? Were you going to? No. No? He is a friend and that's He's all. He's a friend and that's all? What were y'all going to do over here? We was just talking. Just talking? I mean, you had the crack pipe out. I was just talking. He said that, that, that he was trying to have a date with you. How can he have a date with me when he ain't got no money and I don't do nothing for dope like all these other girls do? I I'm straight just telling you what he said, okay? I'm not trying to, not trying to take sides. That right there is, uh, puts me down. I, I might be a hoe, but I'm not a crack hoe. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to do nothing if you ain't, if you ain't got no money? If you ain't got no friends money. Friends or not? No. Well, friends, maybe. But I, I ain't even been in the mood for sex. Okay. That's why I do just most of the now. Okay. But you weren't going to do one with him? No, sir. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Okay? All right. Appreciate you being honest with me tonight, okay? Carl, you're going to go with this deputy right here, okay? In regards to that crack pipe, that's the only offense that I'm hitting you with, okay? The other business, I'm not going to do that. But the uh, crack pipe, I actually saw that happen, so I really don't have a choice on that, okay? All right. Sure with all that. Just the trace case for uh, the cocaine in the pipe, so okay? Grab. That's it. You can go ahead with that deputy right there. You're getting a break. I understand, sir. You don't have any warrants. I didn't see you throw a crack pipe down or do anything. I have no reason to keep, you know, believing that you're doing anything else. Okay? Go ahead and grab your stuff. Watch out for that mud. You can walk around the other way. It's uh, really unfortunate. This type of life is it's very difficult for them to get out of it, and I have no doubt she'll be back. One thing exciting about working with the county is that if you get tired of working in an urban environment, you can get an assignment in one of our rural areas and see a lot of the nature, the backwood areas. For me, that was refreshing. I always have an opportunity to revitalize and see something new. All right, we're en route to an assault at one of our pubs. Female says that a male ended up assaulting her, throwing her to the ground. So we're on our way to see if we can locate the male. Boy 9, I might have him. One more 9, copy. Hi, you don't have any weapons on you, do you? I ain't got nothing, man. All right, go ahead and turn around for me. What's going on? Just want to make sure you don't have any weapons. Put that other hand behind your head. What am I going to jail for? Huh? You're not going to jail. Spread your feet. I ain't got no weapons on the officer. Where are you coming from? Oh, man, I just came in from my, my girl house, man. She's still right over at the village. I'm just going walking down the airport road. OK, were you having problems with her? Arguing, fighting, anything like that? Well, my girl stayed by the village. I don't know who, I don't know who nobody out. I'm doing nothing. I got on the bus right off down the street right there. All right. I was walking the Go ahead and have road. a seat on the curb for me. Let me see some ID. I don't got nothing with me, officer. I'm from Louisiana. I'm not even from up here. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I got up here like two days ago. I don't got no uh, ID on me right now. If it's looking like you are involved, then I'll give you an opportunity to give your side of things, okay? Well, I was walking down there. I had no problem with nobody, man. I was at, you know, the little bar that's right down there? Mm -hmm. I hear the little bar right on the side of the street. Yeah, I went up there. I went to a lighter. I went to go get a lighter from the dude up there. I got a lighter to spark my cigarette or whatever. Uh -huh. and, uh, Were you with anybody? I was by myself, but I seen a white girl walking down the street. Uh -huh. so I, well, I seen a white girl walking down the street. And uh, then that she was like, oh, oh, she came up to me and was like, are you looking for a hooker or something like that? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, she said, I'm a hooker. I've been doing it for four years. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You know, she talking about, she said, oh, I'm trying to make a little bit of money. I'm telling like, I don't know what you're talking about, whatever. So she come, oh, oh, I haven't got time for you anyway or something like that. And I just kept, I kept moving on. I didn't touch nobody, nothing. I worry. I just kept walking. You know, she, I don't know, I don't know who she was. I ain't never met her before. She just came to me talking about, well, I'm looking for a hooker. And I told her, no, straight up. I don't know what you're talking about. And I kept walking down this way. Oh. Go ahead and stand up, Damien. Just go face over that way. 
You can stop right there. That's a yes. Okay, go ahead and have a seat right there. Right here, right here? Yes. Okay, let me chat with her. Hi, ma'am. Deputy Zelaya. What happened tonight? Uh, I was, I went, I was visiting my girlfriend. I went up to the, so, uh, I went up to the payphone to make a phone call. And, uh, a dude offered me a, a cigarette. And, uh, he's, he started, uh, talking to me and stuff. I don't know, do you want, you, you want a date, whatever? And I go, no, no. I, I was arrested for, you know, doing stuff like that before. And, I you know. I don't do anything like that, so I'm, you know, and I went walking on my way, and then he started following me and stuff, mm -hmm. calling me a bitch, and, uh, and he goes, hey, wait a minute, you're the girl that took my $40 from me the other night, I need my money, seriously, this is no joke, you need to give me my money, and I go, I don't know what you're talking about, I don't even know you. What did he do and, to you then? And then he grabbed me, and threw me down on the ground. And I was, I got away and ran, and ran to Bill's, and he came out and they called the cops for me. And what were you doing on the highway? Months. You said you were walking? I was going up to the phone to use the pay phone. Oh, where? The RV park. At, okay. Yes, from okay. the RV park. Okay, and you were coming from a girlfriend's place? Yes. All right, all right. What do you want us to do to this guy? Well... Does he have the right to just walk down the sidewalk and start accosting women and trying to extort not. money out of him by making up stories and saying that they it took forty dollars from him and not? No, you know. absolutely not. You have every right to have him arrested. I mean, if I was scared to death. I mean, he really could hurt, have hurt me if I'm not as agile as I was able to be. Well, what should happen to him? Well, I can't decide I mean, for you, but okay, if he well, if he well, assaulted be the you, the next then one. This, Drag down behind a washing machine, right. you know, back behind a dumpster. Who knows what he'll do? No, you're right. I mean, because he was ready to do more than just grab me by the neck and throw me on the ground. Right. You want to have him arrested? Well, that would probably be a good idea. Okay. Okay. And the guy that you saw standing up was the one? Yes, that was him. Got and it. he said he was going to wait. Oh, I'll call the police myself. I go, well, you just do that then. Okay. And obviously he's running. Made it all the way down here. Okay. You willing to give us a statement? Yeah, whatever. Written statement? That's fine. Okay. Stay put. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay, sir, here's the deal, okay? I, I spoke with your moms on the phone. That was the right number, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to give you a, a courtesy ride home. You're not being booked into jail tonight. But what's going to be happening is charges are probably going to be referred to the prosecutor, okay, on you. What happens from there is what happens from there, okay. But you're not going to get booked into Denny Youth Center tonight. Fair enough. But you got no business out here at 17 being rolling up and down the highway. You know what I mean? Well, it looks like uh, it's just a deal gone bad because they're both kind of saying the same thing, just different versions of it. So she was telling me that she's had a history with us, and you're saying that pretty much a similar thing that we've got her along here selling her wares.